Black Friday was terrible for me. Anyway, there's not a lot that I got. Um, I did get a infrared fireplace, I guess. Uh, that's over there. That's pretty sweet. I bought a bath towel from Walmart. Singular, by the way. Yeah, that uh, I don't understand that. Uh, and of course, before Black Friday, we ended up getting some NVMEs. Now, today, I will explain it in a minute. We are going to be cloning my main drive that is a spinning platter drive over to an M.2. Uh, and I'll go through the tutorial on how to do that and, and take care of all that stuff. Uh, Macrium Reflective is a super cool product. If you're interested, this two terabyte silicon power is 2,500 read write speed up to 2,500. Uh, so it's not the fastest thing out there, but when you think about a spinning mechanical drive going like 160 read writes, I mean, it's, it's night and day. Uh, I've, I have this installed now, uh, and I've been playing Warzone on it, and the and, and normal Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 2, and the amount of performance upgrade from moving to a spinning platter drive on a, on a new AAA game to something like this was insane to me. can't believe that I've gone this long without having a solid-state drive housing my games. Stupid me. Yeah, this silicone power... 2 terabyte was on sale for $120 on Amazon. I'll link it down in the description below if you're looking for something like that. I think that's a Black Friday sale. Um, so because this video is coming out on Cyber Monday, you might still have a chance um, to get it at that price if you're looking for one. If not, it's probably back up to 200 by now. But let's uh, let's get this installed. Let's start the video. So for the last year and a half, I've been having an issue where it seems like every game that I play, regardless of having a 2070 Super, regardless of having a 3080, having the greatest of the great, eh, not really, but you get what I mean, uh, having performance issues in game. And I'm like, I feel like I should be able to run this a lot better than I do. I'm getting hitching. I'm getting some just weird stuff happening. So uh, a few weeks ago. I started looking at this uh, a little more seriously and realized that after speaking with a buddy of mine, I'm still running a spinning platter drive, which is fine. Uh, but a lot of that can probably be explained, uh, especially when we're talking about like brand new games like Call of Duty and things like that uh, could probably be explained the hitching and things like that due to the low speeds on splitting spinning platter drives, much like the the boot drive that we did. We did a video on that last week. Uh, so much like that, uh, over the Black Friday sales, I did go ahead and pick up a silicon power two terabyte NVMe M.2 drive. I have installed it. Here's some B-roll. It's beautiful. And what we're going to do today is we're going to clone my main PC drive and put it on the two terabyte M.2 drive. Uh, so to do that, we're going to use that program that we use for the boot drive called uh, Macrium, Macrium Reflect. Macrium Reflect. So if you're following along at home and you want to create or clone a drive of yours. You're going to want to first find the drive that you want to clone. So this disk one up here, you probably can't see that. Let's let's yeah, let's bring this down here so you can kind of see everything. This drive right here is the drive that I want to clone. You can see that it's got almost 600 gigs used up. That's just uh, mainly a lot of games. What we want to do is we want to select that and we want to clone this disk. Macrium Free is a free program for non-commercial use. So if you are just at home and want to clone a boot drive or clone a hard drive, you want to move a hard drive from a, a spinning drive to a solid state drive, you can use this for free. You get a free license and everything. So we have our drive here. We need to select what disk we want to clone it to. We want to go to this disk three, uh, M.2 PCIe SSD right here. First thing we want to do is we want to remove anything that is on it. We want to delete this partition. We want the whole of the drive available. Next thing we want to do is we want to grab it. We want to drag it down, drag and drop because it is the same amount. It should be the same amount right there. We shouldn't have to go in here and fill space or do float right, float left, do anything of that nature. Now, if you're going from a small drive to a big drive, like the boot drive that we did in the last video, you can go watch that video and figure out how we did it. Uh, or you can just, you know, you'll, you'll toss your 120 onto your one terabyte and you'll have all this space off to the right. Uh, you can just hit fill space and it'll 
fill that space up for you. So you're so you're utilizing the full one terabyte instead of just putting 120 gigs on a one terabyte drive and effectively making that one terabyte drive 120 gig hard drive, which we don't want to do. So now we can hit next. We're going to run it right now. Uh, make sure that everything looks good here. Copy partitions, partitions, everything looks fine. Um, the only thing that I'm worried about is that this is my F drive, right? So this right here is the drive that I'm going to clone. So I just hope that it picks up that this is my F drive. Looks like my other hard drive isn't showing up. Might have to, when I pull out the hard drive, I might have to go in there and make sure that the other, other drive is, is plugged in. Uh, but yeah, so that's the only thing that I'm worried about the drive letter. Next, you're going to want to hit finish. You're going to call this something. Uh, we will just call this um, clone of main drive and then you're going to hit OK. It's going to do its thing. And it will clone that drive. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take for two terabytes. I'm going to let it do its thing. And when it's done, I will come back and we will continue on. So like I mentioned, we're doing some quality upgrades on the channel, trying to get some lights, trying to get some uh, where I'm shooting in 4K. This video is going to be a mess because more than half of it is shot in 1080p um, because I don't know what I was doing. And it's all being upscaled to, to 2K. And now the 4K is going to be downscaled to, to 2K. And I, it's, we'll figure it out. Right. Uh, but yeah, so we're back. Hi, it's been a couple days. I've been playing Warzone and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer uh, with massively increased performance. In multiplayer alone, not in Warzone, I'm still experiencing some uh, some lower FPS in that, but that's to be expected with the huge map. But in multiplayer, um, I'm going from 127 FPS uh, to like 117 you know, FPS. And over the year, the last couple of years, you know, I've been like, oh, why am I, you know, 30, 80, 20, 70 super. Why, why can't I run these games? Uh, yeah, now I'm shooting about 144 constant in multiplayer and it feels amazing. So I was that the only thing that was going on. I don't know, but I'm happy with the purchase. Things got a little weird when we were doing this, right? So we cloned the drive. The drive showed up as drive uh, E and it kicked my one terabyte hard drive out. Bye, it's gone. Uh, like what? Okay. Uh, so what we have ended up having to do was I had to go in and change my F drive to a different drive letter. And then I changed the new NVMe drive and to drive F because all of my games are on F and file paths and things like that need to reach out to F to launch, right? And then I changed the other one to E. And at the time, I didn't know that my one terabyte drive that had my Adobe stuff on it um, was <laughs> it was a mess. So Adobe wouldn't launch because that one didn't work. So then I had to change this one to B and then I had to plug in the other unplug and plug in the other hard drive. Changed that drive letter, copied some stuff over because I'm getting rid of all of my mechanical drives. Uh, and then I I copied over Adobe onto the E drive, which is a hybrid drive. Uh, so we have Adobe over here now and everything like that. And everything is right in the world. It all works. Everything is fine. Uh, but yeah, as you can see my main drive F here, it was a two terabyte drive. It is still a two terabyte drive. It doesn't tell me that it's an N NVMe. I wonder if maybe um, Macrium would love this tool. I, I love this tool with a passion. I think Macrium is amazing. Uh, so obviously here is our one terabyte in, uh, NVMe boot drive that we have now. Our main drive right here uh, is two terabyte. That was copied over from this drive, the hybrid drive, uh, which was basically just drag and drop main games is just uh i don't even worry about that one anymore i guess you can't really see it but yeah uh so basically i took this drive at the top copied down to this drive down here which is the uh, m.2 pcie uh and then formatted this drive over here but it was a mess but it worked out in the end just realize that if you're going to clone a drive it's going to take a different boot drive letter and you're going to have to change things around if you have file paths shooting off to that drive but in the end it worked and I'm seeing performance boosts and upgrades to the max. This thing has been plaguing me for a while and we've, we've finally figured it out. So 
Guys, that's the video. If you liked it, like it. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest tech content, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.